Hi everybody, hope you're well. So I'm going to say that my internet is back and it's working, so that's the good news. I will have more videos, like people have sent in loads of requests and stuff, so I will do those. The thing that I'm going to quickly talk about is just kind of a summary of the cards. Now, I usually quite enjoy the cards, I have to say. I've actually reasonably enjoyed the spring cards quite well. I didn't enjoy the last one that we had prior to that. Uh, but I did manage to get the puzzles completed, so I was pleased with that. The only thing is, I did have to go and use the card packs, which I was a bit disappointed about. I was trying really, really hard to get all of them using login, the, the flash seals, and uh, what's the other thing? The competitions. So I did those every single day, and I tried really hard on those, and then I would swap cards as well, usually every second day. It's not easy. It really isn't. So if you manage to complete them without passes, well done, because I just got to that point where I was like, I'm not going to manage this. <laughs> Um, so I decided I, to use them, but I did to use my past horses that I saved up to do it because I didn't want to buy any, I refused to buy any, so I was like, I will use my past horses, so now I have like no past horses, so I'm going to have to start saving up again for past horses, but um, on the bright side, if it's any consolation uh, for anybody that did use passes, I actually did find that I got the items you know, if I spent a pass, I seem to get like something like a hair pack for at least in one pack of cards. So at least I got like, I kind of got two passes back, if that makes sense. So if I spent five passes and I got like, you know, in, in five of those packs, I got an MA or a hair pack or a hop, um, for example, just that's one, two, three for the MA, one, two, three for the hair pack and another one for the hop. So it kind of felt like I was sort of getting back at least what I was putting in. So that's why I kind of like the cards because the cards are usually nice like that. Uh, <clears throat> so I did manage to get all of them. I haven't managed to get the Hermes Wing Staff. I'm kind of hoping to get enough Acris that I can draw out a diamond card if I have one. I've quite a lot of duplicates. I just hope that I've got a, a diamond duplicate in there and see if I can get the Hermes Wing Staff. But got all of these if you're just curious for the violet, the indigo blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. This card was the card that really got me, it was the orange one. For some reason, I like really early on during the cards, I managed to get actually most of the reds, but I could not get the orange. The orange like drove me insane. And then I had like 10 duplicates of this butterfly and I was like, if I see this butterfly again, I'm gonna shoot someone. Not really. It'll only be a water gun, don't worry. So, um, there's a little bit of time left to use the card packs. I hope some of you at least got one in the Divine. Uh, I was just really curious actually is what the secret rainbow is going to look like so I kind of caved a little bit, that was part of it. If these had just been regular Divines that didn't really offer any massive benefit I probably would have decided not to but I'm really curious to what secret rainbow looks like and if I find out it's like really ugly I'm going to be really disappointed or if it's like really useless. Uh, and I'm, the fact is I'm gonna have to collect five more divines and I kind of shudder to think how much time that's gonna take. And hopefully no more pass horses, but probably more pass horses. Um, as for the Joker thing, because I remember in one of the previous card, the videos that I did about the cards, I was saying that I had heard that there might be the chance that we get like Joker packs. We haven't got Joker packs, but what we did end up getting was like, if you've not, if you didn't get a Joker card, basically what the Joker card was different from previous card promos. So what you did, instead of just getting a Joker card, which you could use for mostly anything except diamonds, like in the last one, this time you could get a bronze Joker, which you could only use on basically bronze cards, to pick a bronze card from. And I think... Um, it was the same, like you would get a silver joker, you get a gold joker. I didn't get at any point, I didn't get a diamond joker, so I don't know if those exist. They probably do. They're probably just exceptionally rare. I'd say they're probably rarer than actual diamond cards. But I did get a bronze joker at one point, and I did get, I think, a silver joker at one point, so I was able to use that um, on the puzzles. So that's what that turned out to be. I'm interested to see if I change that again because that, the Joker cards have kind of shifted and changed over different periods of time. So I hope at least some of you managed to get a nice haul of stuff. That's the one thing I have to say about the cards. It's kind of nice because you get freebies. I mean, I just logged on to my international and USA server as well because I was like, I'm just going to see what I get if I get anything nice at all. Uh, I didn't try to complete the puzzles, I just tried to get the cards. So, anyway guys, I hope you loved it. Um, bye bye!